Well, I'm here with Zanon Koke, who is the leader of our operations in Peru and was my roommate at the 2011 <laughs> Legacy Build in Minden, Louisiana. Well, first of all, uh, tell me how things are going in Peru right now. Uh, Fuller Center in Peru is doing well. It's working slowly, one at a time, but we are almost uh, 80, we are 86 houses, and I hope wow. that this year we will reach 100. Oh, that would be fantastic. Now, Peru has become one of our most popular global builders' destinations. Why do you think people like coming to the community to work? Uh, well, I made my own way of doing First of all, uh, we are serious builders. You, you can ask the, uh, the people that uh, they leave uh, the, uh, the place with blisters, <laughs> tired, and a lot, uh, I guess, uh, 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 sweating, but happy because uh, we make them feel home. Mm -hmm. And they, they feel that uh, they can see uh, the real Peru, uh, they can talk to the people, they can uh, also feel the cuisine, Peruvian cuisine. And sometimes even uh, uh, we go around, but the most important thing is that we always have dedication. So they like to be part of something that is done. What, what difference have, have you been able to make for these families? I mean, what, what kind of conditions were they living in before and what is it like now when they move into these nice new houses? Well, uh, in nine years ago, almost 99% of the houses were bamboo houses. Adobe, just a few, but most of them bamboo houses. Today, the city or the town in nine years, it's completely different. It's not because of uh, we are uh, building houses in a large scale, because the people are re realize that they can do more than what uh, we, we are doing. Example, uh, sometimes they cannot be part of a fuller center, they are building by themselves, they change it. Now about the, ha the people that are receiving fuller center houses, it's completely different. Uh, not, uh, not just the, uh, the parents or the owners, the children, the children. I can every so often I talk to them asking, you know, how, how they feel and they, they show me, that's my corner, that's my house, that's mine, that's my, my, my chair or something like that. So they feel proud. Yeah, now, now La Farida is... When people picture Peru, they picture Machu Picchu, and, and or they picture big cities like Lima. What is La Florida like? It's not like Lima. <laughs> La Florida is a small town. At the beginning, we counted one by one, and uh, we at the beginning was 448 homes in need. Probably it was a little more than that, but 448 bamboo shacks. Today it's double. It's more. It's about two thousand. It grew up, but still, this is too small. It's not even a town. It, it's a settlement, but it's growing. It's growing, and people are so proud that the, the town is changing. At the beginning, I remember that when we tried to uh, see on the internet where is La Florida. I found there are four Floridas in Peru, but not that Florida. <laughs> but today I think that, uh, uh, yeah, we, uh, we can find that Florida. Now we're here in America's Georgia today, the headquarters of Fuller Center and the birthplace of the affordable housing movement. How long has it been since you've been to America's? Uh, let's see, first time in 1980 wow. I came, 1980. And is that when you first met Miller Fuller? Miller, yes. And t tell me kind of how, I know, I know he was a great inspiration to you. Tell me what about Miller inspired you? Well, like I, I always, first of all, I miss Miller. Because um, uh, at the beginning, I joined his mission when uh, Habitat was 
too small, was really small. And uh, I had the experience of working with him, uh, learning from him. He changed my life because I, like, before I came, uh, oh, I met him, I was a businessman. I was doing okay, but when I came, I still doing okay, but <laughs> in a different way, you know, in a different way. So he really changed my life. And then uh, after he passed away, I was feeling that I lost somebody that is, is more than what is my kids, my, my, my wife. He was my brother. Okay, well, we appreciate you coming up and visiting with us, Zanon. And uh, if you want to learn more about Peru and uh, opportunities to go work with, uh, with Zanon and then the crew down in Peru, go to floresetter.org slash Peru. Thank you very much, Zanon. One more thing I just want to say. <laughs> Welcome to the land of the wonders. <laughs> the land of the wonders of the past and land of the wonders of today. So I'm trying to teach my people we have to do more than what we are doing today. And we are building not just houses, we are building a community. That's what my... And I remember Miller, right before he passed, he said, tell me, how can we improve the way that we are working? And I said, let's build a community. And that's what is my mission in La Florida, a community. It's more than houses. Absolutely, more than houses. You heard it from Zanon. Make sure you go down and visit this community, wonderful community down in La Florida, Peru. Thank you very much. Thank you.